वेलकम बैक टुडे वी गोइंग टू मेक अ फेवरेट मटन शामी कबाब सो दीज आर फ्लैट पैटीज ऑफ फाइनली ग्राउंड मटन मिंट्स विद सम स्टफिंग और विदाउट स्टफिंग विद सक्यूलेंट कबाब मसाला रियली टेस्टी एज स्नैक्स और यू कैन हैव विद पराठा वेल The following ingredients. So, to start with, we soak the chana dal in the water, normal temperature water for about half an hour till they are puffed up and uh, soaked in all the water. And after that, you can drain it uh, of the water. Other ingredients you require is ghee, uh, oil, uh, fresh coriander leaves, uh, one whole egg, uh, green chilies, and uh, some mint leaves, which I could not get fresh ones in the market, so I got dried. And ginger garlic paste. Uh, soaked and drained chana dal, uh, finely minced or chopped onions. We're going to use a ready-made masala called Lucky uh, Shami Kebab Masala. I've given you the ingredients. You can make your uh, fresh masala as well with the ingredients and uh, sliced onions. To begin with, we take a pressure pan and uh, with the pressure pan, we're going to add the mixture of ghee and uh, oil, and then we fry the onions till uh, you know, it starts softening, and then add the soaked chana dal soaked and drained chana dal and keep frying this for quite some time uh, but we don't want the onions to color so just keep it on a medium flame and keep frying this so the chana dal gets a coating on the outside fried coating and uh, the onions also lose their moisture and dry up so uh, now while this is going on we've taken mutton mince and with the mutton mince we washed it well and drained it so that all the moisture is taken out to this we have added the uh, shami kebab masala now shami kebab masala we contains salt so you want to be careful when you season it uh, check for seasoning and accordingly add salt uh, put that to the pressure pan along with the dal and the onions and give it a stir fry uh, for that we have to add a uh, little bit of salt to adjust the seasoning and uh, ginger garlic paste the ginger garlic paste also contains uh, some companies contain salt uh and uh, it used for preservative and we sauteed this in mixture well and uh, fried for some time uh, till you know the mince uh, changes its color from red to about a, a light brown uh, along with the masala uh, so there's the salt and once this mixture is more or less uh, seasoned uh, we're going to cover this up in the pressure pan and give it a 3 to 4 whistle cook on a medium flame uh, so that the mutton becomes tender While that is cooking, we're going to finally chop up onions, uh, which we've taken before, and chopped coriander, some crushed or chopped mint leaves, and chopped green chilies. Mix all this mixture up together and keep it aside for the stuffing of the kebabs. Uh, by now, we go back to the pressure pan, open it, and we see that the mixture is mostly dried up. Now, if you felt that you know it was risky to put the pressure pan so that it will burn, you can always add about half cup of water to it. But uh, I did not add; it didn't require. It was just the right. Uh, whistles so within four this is the consistency you'll get the mutton mince is cooked chana dal a few whole uh, cool the mixture a little bit and then put it into a wet uh, grinder and blend it till it becomes a smooth uh, kind of a paste uh, that that's the mutton and the dal uh, which is formed a smooth paste as you can see take that out and put it in a large surface area bowl uh, to cool nicely so then you'll be able to form the kebabs uh, you know divide uh, this mixture into small portions and uh, basically flatten them on the palm of your hand and then stuff each kebab with about 2 teaspoons of the onion uh, mint and uh, green chili and coriander mixture form uh, them close them up and sort of flatten them and form into a compact cutlet uh, so that they don't break up they refrigerate to chill and become hard uh, take a pan uh, either a tawa iron tawa or a iron griddle and or a non-stick pan uh, brush it with a little ghee dip each of the kebab in uh, this beaten egg mixture with a little salt we have beaten the egg in that you dip it and drain off the excess egg and uh, put each kebab for frying on both sides on a medium low heat because you want the center to soften the reason we add egg to this uh, shami kebab is because of the fine paste we have made of the mutton and the chana dal mixture uh, when when you start frying it 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 sort of uh, softens and gives out particles of uh, meat into the and chana dal into the oil and then the it starts burning and gives a, a foul flavor to the kebabs we don't want that that's the reason shami kebabs are always dipped in egg uh, so you can drain off the excess uh, and that's it uh, that's done it's uh, so easy to make enjoy and thanks for watching subscribe to my channel click like share and comment till next time bye